Hi friends, I have you balancing on a tissue box in my car, so hopefully it stays. Um, but I feel like if I don't make this video right now, I just dropped Hugo off at camp, then I will never make it. And I need to fill you guys in. It's been forever since I vlogged. We've been home now from the Disney cruise for I think like over a month. And it's been like, it's been harder than usual to get into a routine of vlogging. And one of the biggest reasons is something I'm gonna share with you right now. So, uh, drum roll, our big news that has been influencing our lives for the past, I think, couple months is that we're moving. We are moving. And if you're like, er, didn't you guys just move? I would say, yes, we did. You're correct we did just move you're not uh you're not making that up so yes we have been in our current home now for what not even a year I think it's been like nine or nine or ten months um sorry this eye is bothering me today and it's like wow we were we're packing up and heading off again so in short Jeff got a new job which is really exciting he's really excited he actually already started he loves it um, everyone he's working with has been fantastic and so it's a really great opportunity for him and before he took the job obviously we weighed out how it would affect our family and if it would be a good move for our family and we concluded that it would be and that even short term it would be beneficial for us um, with the only caveat being that we need to move and it fell down. Okay, let's see if that, let's see if that stays. Uh, so, positives, like let's look at the positive side of things. The positive is that we, we knew almost immediately after moving into our current home that it was too small. And that we kind of felt like the second Amelia was born, which was what, like two weeks after we moved in, like, oh boy, okay, we've realized now that after having a third child, getting... I wouldn't even say settled, but like getting all our stuff in the house, like this house is too small for us. I'm speaking about our current home. And so we knew pretty, pretty quickly that it was not going to be our forever home. And that was like both a blessing and a curse because there was a part of me that was like, I don't want to get settled fully into this home. Like granted, moving is always going to be stressful and like it's always going to take months and months and months to unpack boxes. And like in looking on the positive side, there are definitely boxes that haven't been unpacked, which like, great, we'll just tape them back up. Um, but it was also nice because it was like, all right, I'm not going to get too emotionally attached to this home because I know that we're going to be moving in, let's say, five years. And so like, let's make this house a home, of course, and let's enjoy it. And like, we're so blessed to have it, but also like know that we, my feelings of like crampedness, like this, these are valid and like, we will expand into a, a bigger home one day. Just didn't know that day was going to come so quickly. And like, how amazing that, that this opportunity came about when it did. And yeah, is it stressful moving twice in a year with three little kids? Of course. And y'all know that like to my kids are my everything and my biggest concern from the get-go was like how is this going to affect them how are they going to handle the news schools like mom is out there you know that's like the first thing you're like okay well if we're moving I got to look into these school districts every single one make sure that like where we end up is a, in a good school district um research the schools and then the preschools that's a huge thing mamas who have littles in preschools you know the preschools fill up so quickly luckily we've like this has been an idea and sort of ruminating for a few months and i was able to pat on my back um get theodore in a preschool in the area that we're going to uh, so like that is like check and done i'm glad i didn't wait until we have a house <laughs> And that's probably like the next question, like, do you have a house? Did you find a house? And the answer is no, not yet. Um, but I was able to like get him in a preschool and like we'll be in the surrounding area. Um, but like the biggest thing for me was like, let's just get him signed up because I know that they fill up so quickly. So while we were on the Disney cruise, our house got staged and cleaned and our contractor came and like patched things up. Our housekeeper came and cleaned and our amazing realtors staged and organized and just like worked their magic on our house and did a bunch of showings and open houses. 
<laughs> while we were on the Disney cruise, which was phenomenal. Like so, so amazing. Such a blessing to like not have to go through that with kids. And one of the big pros of doing this whole thing twice in the same year is that you learn a lot. I learned so much from moving last year. And like one of the biggest things was like, if we can help it, and I know this is like such a privilege, but like, if we can help, help it, let's not be at our home when we are staging it and showing it because with three little kids, it's, it's almost impossible to like keep it show ready. And I learned that when we had to show our condo. Um, and, and then I, and at that point I only had two little kids, you know? So also adding a baby on top of that with all the baby stuff. Anyway, they did such an amazing job. By the time we got back from our cruise, we had an accepted offer and we are currently in contract on our place. And it's been so easy and just like so smooth. And I could not be, I could not be happier. Um, we live in a pretty like high demand area and I will like forever, maybe it's because I grew up here I will forever like believe that this is the best area in the world and it's no surprise to me that our home went quickly because like why would you not want to live in this area it's the best uh in again looking at the positive side of things because obviously there's a lot to be stressed out about and there's a lot to be nervous about we are moving far away and we are moving away from all our family and our friends and from this world that we know and we love and I just said like that I grew up in and so moving somewhere where I don't know anyone and moving somewhere that is completely different now here's the thing we're moving we're staying in state so that's amazing and we're moving we're moving far enough away that like so our parents currently live about like 15 minutes away from us and so they're able to drop in and have coffee or come and babysit or just stop by if there's an issue like and that's been so so amazing where we're going they cannot do that in a day um they couldn't if there was like a major emergency but like the driving is enough is far enough where like just dropping by isn't going to be a thing um but it's not so far away that like they would need to fly or that like it would take days for them to get to us you know so all of that is to say that it's it's scary, but I'm trying to like stay positive about it all and like trust the plan and God's plan. And like, I 100% feel like this, you know, that we are on the right path and that everything is meant to be and what's meant to be will be. And so, especially now as we're looking to find a home and that we're house hunting I'm trying to not let my anxiety drive our decisions about houses or my decisions about houses like I did last year it felt last year granted I was like nine and a half months pregnant and about to pop and we needed to find like it was oh gosh that was the second time my phone fell I'm gonna like wrap this up quick um we, I wanted to find a school district for Hugo and like there was a lot going on and I absolutely know where my head was then and I like don't I don't regret the choices we made but I want to learn from them right and so it's like I felt very like we I felt like we needed to compromise on a lot now granted the area again that we live in is like very high demand and like if you see a property you got to snatch it up in that day and everything is very fast and that's still how the market is here luckily we're removing it's a little slower and it's it's not quite as fast paced and it's not quite as like there, there's a greater inventory for sure and our dollar, I think, is going to go a little bit further where we're going. So, like, all of those are pros. Um, and, like, the biggest thing for me is, and, and I would say for Jeff, too, I feel like I can confidently speak for him, is that, like, the compromises we made with this house, with, it, with space being tight and other compromises, is, like, we cannot do that again. And I won't do that again. And I'm, I'm trying to be, like, really strict about that because... We have three kids and we're moving somewhere we don't know. And like the last thing we need is to feel uncomfortable or like our space doesn't feel right in an area that is going to feel different to us, you know? 
and I mean what's nice is I do have family like 25 minutes from where we're going and the more people I talk to about where we're going you know it's one of those things where like oh I actually do know someone that lives there and like this person I went to college lives this person that I went to college with lives there and so like that's been fun and cool and I'm sure we'll meet people in the community and as the kids start school and I sign the kids up for camp up there and like all of those things of course um but I'm also being realistic and like it's gonna feel weird it's gonna feel different um Jeff and I did drive up yesterday and um we went to two different houses to see two different houses um uh, up till this point I hadn't seen any houses in person I don't think that we had been interested in um, but yesterday it was like these two houses are like actual contenders. We feel like, oh my gosh, these one of these two could potentially be the one. And after traveling up there and looking at them in person, it was like a little disappointing because I think we've decided that neither one is going to be the one. But it was a nice exercise for us in like not compromising and, and finding a space that's really going to work for us um, and work for us long term because I think where we're moving is we're going to be there for at least the next five to seven years at least, um, if not longer. So yeah, anyway, that's everything guys. I like, I've been dying to tell you and like dying to get it out, uh, for so long, but obviously like we wanted to first make sure like everything went well with Jeff transitioning into his new job. And then we had the cruise, which was so fantastic. And then I wanted to get the Disney vlogs up before I shared this information. And then just like telling everyone in person. Um, I feel like if you're watching this and you're a friend or a family member of mine, like I, I have told you, hopefully. And if this is the first time you're hearing about it, sorry. <laughs> but there's just like so much, there's so much going on. So we're moving. We're moving. And I'm like equal parts excited and nervous. Um, and I think it'll be great for our family. Uh, and listen, I know this year has been tough with me, like, and being consistent on YouTube, but y'all are going to be my only friends where we're moving. So you're going to be sick of me because I'm just going to be uploading all the time because I am going to have no one to talk to. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. I'm not going to think about it too much because otherwise I'll cry. Uh, okay. All right, friends. Well, uh, hang out with us now as we try to find a home. I'll bring y'all along. I'm so glad that like finally I said it and we're going to find the perfect home. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to find, we're going to find the perfect home. We are, and I'll talk about this more in another video because this is getting long and I have to get home. Um, but you know, we need to find out we're moving far away from family and friends. And so we need to find a home that has room for when those family and friends come see us. So it's not just like, we're not just looking for a property with, for us, we're looking for a property that can also accommodate our parents when they come. And, you know, I don't know what the holidays are going to look like now. So like, can this home also accommodate like both sets of parents if they're both sleeping over it? Do you know what I mean? So, you know, it's a big ask, but, but I, I believe in, I believe in the plan and I believe that like God will bring it to us. I believe it. I do. All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for sticking around. Please stay. Please continue being my friend because I'm going to have no friends where we're going. And um, we'll see you soon. Bye.